Hello, and welcome back to Scrum Study Course on the Guide to the Scrum Body of Knowledge, or the SBOT Guide. In this section, we will look at the best way to use the SBOT Guide. But before that, let's review some foundation material. The SBOT Guide is a reference and knowledge guide. It is used by experienced Scrum practitioners and other product and service developers, as well as persons with no prior experience or knowledge of Scrum or other project management frameworks. In SBOT Guide, you will find that the contents are organized for easy reference by the three Scrum Core team roles, that of the Product Owner, Scrum Master, and the Scrum Team. The content for each Scrum Core team role is identified in the Roles Guide section. A Roles Guide provides direction regarding the relevance of each section in the chapter to the Scrum Core team member. The phases covering the six Scrum principles and five Scrum aspects also include a Roles Guide. What's more, in order to facilitate the best application of the Scrum framework, the SBOT Guide has clearly differentiated mandatory inputs, tools, and outputs from non-mandatory or optional ones. In the SBOT Guide, the inputs, tools, and outputs denoted by asterisks are mandatory, while others with no asterisks are optional. It is recommended that persons being introduced to Scrum focus primarily on the mandatory inputs, tools, and outputs, while more experienced practitioners should read the entire process phases. I hope this will help you in understanding SBOT Guide better. I look forward to seeing you in the next module. Thank you for learning with us.